the Rakeda update, however, Rakeda, um, Rakeda had soft committed and backed out to a sober January. And then he reduced that from sober January to sober on stream January, I believe. And I, I haven't heard many updates from Rakeda this month. So I'm going to assume, and I'm pulling this completely out of my ass based on the sole assumption that I have not heard any retarded news about Rakeda in over a month, that Rakeda actually did manage to stay sober, sober on stream for the entire month of January until yesterday. Yesterday, uh, he had a hot tub stream with another couple. Uh, Kayla was there as long as two people as I've never seen before. They were all drinking in the jacuzzi together, and it was an extremely, extremely awkward encounter. Uh, so let's go over that. Uh, here we go. Here's them just hanging out in the party. Um, he did not manage to make it until February. Uh, sober January is officially dead. Uh, regardless, I don't know if he was actually sober on stream until this, but, uh, this ended it officially. Now there are some clips that I'll play, uh, about a minute each, so... Oh, by the way, this one. I would give you a pass. Doesn't like me very much. Mm -hmm. I don't. Not one. She. Uh... Okay, I'll explain my. Opinion. I I only got into I only got into this house because of this one here. Absolutely. I don't. I'm charming. These these two are friends. He and I. A lot of weird homosexual friction <laughs> that we're both denying. Definitely. Do you want to read this yeah. name right here? It's only friction because he doesn't Where's like Sid? Blue. What, what did Sid have? No, no, no. To say? I'm getting to Sid. Hold on. Read that name right there. Uh, that's Long Rod Van Huge Dong. Um. So, he he's saying that she does not like him, but she likes her. And my my theory on this is that Kayla is in such a down bad spot right now. She will literally allow Rakeda to swing with women, but she is desperately trying to get him to not swing with men because if there's a woman involved, she can kind of compete with women. She, she has a lot of the same qualities as other women, right? So she can theoretically compete with women. She cannot compete with men. A, a woman, women are universally turned off by bisexual men for a variety of reasons. A lot of it is like, I believe deep seated evolutionary reasons, but a main like logical reason why women don't like bisexual men is that a woman knows they can compete with other women. They can do makeup. They can uh, stay in conditions. They can dress a certain way. They can provide certain services that women can provide. Women can compete with other women. A woman cannot compete with a man. There is no way to provide your bisexual boyfriend a male sexual experience. So it is a 100% chance that your bisexual husband will cheat on you with a man at some point in the future, and then you will get AIDS and you'll die. Uh, so if you are someone who's ever had a homoerotic encounter and you intend to stay in a relationship with a woman, never tell her that you're a faggot because she will dump you immediately. She will no longer see you as a man and she will leave you. Um, no, even if she pegs you, she, it does, it's not the same. I'm telling you, women don't feel secure in a relationship with a bisexual because a bisexual man is a homosexual man. Um, so the reason why Kayla doesn't like this guy is that she literally does not want um, Rakeda to have homosexual sex because she can't actually compete with homosexual men. She cannot do what, what he does. Uh, so that's why she doesn't like him. Just, just kidding. I'm kidding. Whoa! <laughs> okay. I don't know whose hand it was. That was, that was yes, you do, you boy. But it, it felt like Aaron. That was gross. See, it, even her, she's like, that's gross. I can't believe my boyfriend touched your ass. I'm going to try to forget that. Actually, Kayla's <laughs> I guess we're swinging tonight. Maybe I put it on the table. They've rejected me. Look, guys, here's the deal. There is no um, swinging tonight unless Nick and I get drunk enough and we decide our lips look too tasty. It's just them. Aaron's we're butthole is watching. mine. Look at Kayla's face as he says this. Tonight, unless Nick and I get drunk enough and we decide. She's literally rolling her eyes at him talking. Our lips look too tasty. It's just them. 
Look at her face, just like, God, what a faggot. Aaron's Where butthole is mine. You, you, notice, <laughs> you notice we ladies are on the inside is to keep these boys off the each other. The sexual tension. Just, they can't help themselves. We pretend, <gasps> we pretend that crazy. the heads of our penises are magnets with the same charge, and we just go, okay. Guys, I lost my voice, and you know how. It gets very uncomfortable. Ew. Okay. Ew, that was a dick-sucking joke. Ew, that's fucking gross. No driving and drinking. Good advice. I don't know what the lawyer would say about that, but I think it's fine. I believe Nick's official advice on drinking and driving is meh. Uh, Aristocock. You oh, I remember. I remember back in the day where Kata was a young hotshot lawyer, just got his law degree, and he decided he was going to do some commentary on funny internet cases. Maybe his YouTube channel would take him off just a little bit. Talking about that Russell Greer and that Tay Tay Swift. Talking about that Ariana Grande. Talking about that Montagraph. All them LOL cows on the internet that a, that a lawyer could talk about and provide some legal insights on to make just a little bit of extra money to supplement his actual law career. Unless he was a good person to talk to. And he just enjoyed a little bit of whiskey. Just a little bit of whiskey. Uh, because it's classy. It looks, it looks, it's like a cigar and a whiskey glass, whatever. It's part of the lawyer sona when you're LARPing as a lawyer. Like, yeah, what do lawyers like? They have nice offices. They got a bookshelf with all those encyclopedias. And uh, the, for whatever reason, their state's entire uh, code printed out in paper as if that's not immediately out of date within like a month of printing it and that kind of shit you know it's part of the it's part of the look and he's like an addict now he's sucking dick now he's getting fucked in the ass chat now he only supports freedom of speech when that speech is positive about him sucks chat it sucks at least we can still make fun of them. Oh boy, it's nice to have a night off without the kids, huh? Yeah, I know what you mean. I love having a family and all. I just miss being able to party, drinking and socializing and experimenting with all kinds of different things. Well, that's what being young is all about. Once you have a family and a career, your experimenting days are over. But tonight is the exception. That's why I'm gonna smoke this cigar. Only because I've never smoked before. Good idea. What haven't you tried that you've always wanted to try? Oh, huh. well, I don't know. Maybe I'll drink a few more beers and see where the party takes me. Yeah. Was that your leg? Huh? Oh, you mean this? Yeah. Yeah, that that was me. You, you never had a homosexual fantasy? Not that I have. You haven't? No, I mean, well, they say everybody has at some point, don't they? Well, I never really wanted to experiment with anything too crazy. You know, maybe just, I don't know. Yeah, well, that's... That's not really gay, is it? No, no, I, I don't think so. Well, it is a night for experimenting. It sure is. Okay, I'll start. Well, this is by Shush on the forum, and it's it's so high quality. It must have taken him forever to do all the, the rotoscoping and shit, but I didn't even notice this until I saw comments pointing it out. But that, I thought that snake, that snake is so South Park looking. I thought it was just a part of the, the show. The snake tattoo is added too. I didn't notice that. I like how the snake is like um, in the South Park style too. It's such a perfect homage. <laughs> really just amazing. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.